Crown Research Institute Scion has developed a biodegradable bioplastic net clip incorporating waste from the winemaking process. The clips are used to keep nets on the vines to protect the fruit as it ripens. Studies have estimated that around 16.8 million plastic clips are used each year in the New Zealand wine industry. Cyan has done a lot of research looking at bioplastics and adding in different waste streams, so different biomasses from the New Zealand economy. So things like wine pumice, kiwi fruit waste, power, so power power is another project we've done. And there's a few drivers, and one is the utilisation of waste, so what can we do with that waste, not just composting, can we add value to it? And one is to make things more sustainable, so products that everyone's using, can we add the waste in? Um, another one is trying to create a circular economy so that the waste isn't just put into landfill, it can be used for other applications. Within the wine industry in New Zealand, there's 60,000 tonnes of wine pumice produced after they've made the wine. So we looked at what we could do with that wine pumice and also what they're using in the industry. And with a collaboration with them, we talked about what they use and the wine clips came out as a product. The vine clips are put on from February to March. It's put on the nets to protect the grapes as they're maturing from birds and other pests from eating them. So the vine clip holds the net in place and then after six to eight weeks, they pull the nets off and gather them up and the net clips fall onto the ground. Because they're so little, it's not really viable to pick them up to recycle or anything else. So the vine clips stay on the ground where they fall. What we've developed with our formulation is that when those net clips fall onto the ground, they will biodegrade. So over a period of time you won't see them anymore, as opposed to the conventional polystyrene clips which will stay there for hundreds of years. A lot of the wine industry is very sustainable, they like sustainable principles, so a product that they could use that was sustainable or bio-based they were quite keen to use. And we've done a trial last year at Villa Maria in the Hawke's Bay. We tried four formulations last year and we'll try another four this year. So the results from that helped us do the next trial. So we'll do all the research here and we can do up to the sort of 10, 20 kilo lots and then we'll be handing on to industry, so getting industry partners involved at that point to make the clips. A biopolymer is a polymer that's produced in nature, so it's produced from things that are living. So with PLA, it's produced from cornstarch, the fermentation of cornstarch. Corn is renewable every year and it also biodegrades, so it breaks down into carbon, water and CO2. But with conventional petrochemical polymers, they don't degrade. But they may degrade over thousands of years, but not within our lifetime. So what they'll do is they may break down into smaller particles, but they'll still be in the food chain. So they'll be still present for yeah, thousands of years. PLA as a polymer is quite brittle. It snaps quite easy. So what we're doing is we're blending in other biopolymers that are more flexible, and we're adding in biomasses. So biomasses are anything that comes from nature that's currently underutilized. So we're adding in the biomass to increase the properties, so make it more flexible, make it degrade faster, and also give it a nice color, so a good visual appearance. So what we do is, using an extruder, we add the polymer and the grape mark and other biomasses, and the polymer melts, and the biomass gets mixed in with the extruders. And what comes out is a strand. So with this strand, then we cut it up and use it in to make films or injection moulding, or it could be used to do 3D printing. With our extruder, we are producing some plastic sheets so made of the formulation that we've been talking about. And with these sheets, we've been laser cutting the clips to then go to the field with the vineyard and use those net clips on the nets. Here at Sion, we can do the lab scale, so we are preparing those sheets and then cutting them into clips with a, with a laser cutting equipment. But we are looking at scaling up, so we are looking at different options. We are in touch with some engineering companies in New Zealand to design a stamp, stamping cutter to be able to produce those clips in a faster way with more quantity, more volume, 
to have a better cost efficiency instead of using the laser cutting uh, tool that we, that we are doing right at the moment. And then uh, an industrial partner would take up the, the formulation and the process to produce those clips. Another application that those net clips could be used for, because it's the same shape of the bread clip, the clip that we use for the bread bag closure, that could be an option. Right, so I'm going to test for something that does biodegradation, compostability and disintegration. So what we would do is we would put our net clips either in soil or water or sea water and see over time how they degrade. So we can set the temperature with most commercial composting is done at higher temperatures than normal home composting. And then where you look at the CO2 uptake over a period of time and for commercial composting it's 45 days so we would mimic that in this facility here. With the clips that we've designed, they can be either left on the ground and they will biodegrade over a time period, or they can be connected up and put into a compost, and they may even be lawn mowed up into tiny little bits as well. So those options are all viable because they will eventually will biodegrade or compost. What we've seen in the lab is that our vine clip degrades faster than PLA alone and it degrades significantly faster than the conventional polystyrene. The net clip that we've developed um, will degrade in the environment under the vine clip um, and it will degrade um, within a few months to years. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.